since the last 24 hours Ashwa Jubala met Tinubu revealed his interest to contest for 2023 presidential election to President Muhammadu Buhari on Monday. There have been several reactions and, this, and dimensions to the story. Tinubu made his interest known during his courtesy visit to the president at the Asuro. After the closed-door meeting, he addressed the waiting state house reporters about the content of his meeting with the president. Less than 24 hours into the development, both internet and conventional media have been awash with reasons Tinubu should either go ahead or drop the invention in the interest of the nation. During the Tuesday edition of Good Morning Show, a regular program that comes up on Arise TV, the new the director general of Tinubu support group, Jubrin Abdul Mumin, was on hand to respond to myriad of questions asked by the likes of Ruben Abati and other veteran journalists who anchor the program. When he was specifically asked how old is Bola Tinubu and how was he able to make his money to the extent of having a bullion van in his house, Honorable Jibrin was emphatic with his answer. While responding to the question, he told his host that the question is immaterial. Yes, so at this time, he insisted that Tinubu's age has nothing to do with his presidential ambition and what he tends to what he intends to achieve for Nigeria, you lie. <laughs> Everything, all T must be crossed and all dots must, you know, everything must be in place. <laughs> everything that needs to be dotted will be dotted. Who says is that you see material? Oh, Nagoyera. Well, he believes that what matter is the capacity to deliver. <laughs> oh, speaking how he made his money, he described the question as. Scrap. According to him, everybody knows whom Tinubu is in Nigeria. As far as he's concerned, the performance and achievements of the former governor of Lagos is enough to speak for him. You guys lie. Ah, <laughs> no, I never hear pasa pasa. He identifies some of the projects he started and completed in Lagos, and he believes these are the legacies that are working for him, and they will all speak for him during the presidential poll if eventually picked by APC. Honorable Jibril Abdul Mumin made this response while featuring on Arise TV Good Morning Show on Tuesday. <laughs> Is it material really? And eh, so <laughs> Bullion Van Nigeria Limited. Don't be deceived with his achievements in Lagos states. Is a state in Nigeria and not a country, please. Is Presidential ambition has got a lot shit to do with his age. I can't believe my ears. Tinubu should emulate people of his age like IBB and co. What else does he want after amassing much more than his rest generations ever need? We can't stop him from doing what is his constitutional right. But going by the general feelings about his controversial figure, with an obvious lack of support among his party men, I don't see him getting through the primaries. I don't understand this hatred against Tinubu, especially from the Igbos who will never hold their leaders responsible, but quick to talk down the Jagaban. Who told you they are not holding their, uh, <laughs> their, their, their leaders accountable? After all, you are the one that will say that uh, they are insulting their leaders. They are insulting their leaders because they talk to them. Did you not see, maybe some of the people, are, some of you have not seen that video that went viral when uh, uh, somebody from the South East was challenging a politician. The man just got angry and just threw all the cola nuts and all the things that they were supposed to use in entertaining them for that pro, for that meeting. He threw them away. Who among these uh, South West can really do that? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, I'll be bending down without a, without a, being serious about it. I don't even know how to put it. Be bending down, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Be bending down, be prostrating. And meanwhile, it is nothing behind you. Will back by the person. What are we talking about? That they don't respect. You say they don't respect their leaders. They have to challenge them. They challenge them to stand still. But you, you be just to say your yeah, things are getting bad. I don't understand though, the achievement they are always talking about. So this uh, all this uh, audio achievements. How developed is your state? You that you are talking that uh, they don't. The Igbos don't hold their. Leaders accountable. 
perpetual slave even yourself yourself dignity is totally absent can you imagine where well, abdul mumin is, is in right is right by saying age is irrelevant in competency capability and performance legacy is the right detrimental for leadership and tinubu has gotten it what you have upset is what matters really and what he has upset he could not even give it to buhari even as a national leader of the party he could not help them things are deteriorating so you are happy that uh, things are expensive because even if you are not even uh, um, experiencing what is happening in the north the insecurity that is happening in the north because it has not affected you but at least when you talk about the economy is affecting you badly and buhari Zinubu has all of those he could not even you know at least to help his party with that uh, knowledge that you think he has <coughs> okay oh just like the pre present president it does not matter uh well he was asked a and he replied b bullion van associates nobody is deceived by lagos achievements but anti anti sodians matters a lot okay antecedents matter a lot president jonathan was a commissioner from commissioner to deputy before he was chosen to governor govern okay to be to be the governor from deputy to president and he deliver why tinumbu will not deliver <laughs> they deliver you say good luck jonathan deliver oh why don't you present your father book to deliver okay all right civil station should ask their owners how they made their money they are not they are not public people the person who is coming out to say i want to vie for this thing must be asked thorough questions so how does he his so-called achievements relate to his source of income that was asked is bullion van authorized by anyone to have in nigeria did our president have it as his own personal use or who is he have it as personal use in our country things have have gotten out of hand in nigeria as a leader or a parent what lesson are we teaching our youth just like when i ask such a question that what are these younger ones learning from all these people with the coming of social media all over the place anybody can assess anything do you want performance experience track record or simply chronological age what has age difference achieved in nigeria or for nigeria these are the set of people they don't want you to ask questions so that at the end of the day they will tell you that they, they didn't tell you they didn't ask you anything or they didn't promise anything you see how they are they play where you are and the reason is that they have we have a lot of moogles we have a lot of psychophants we have a lot of slaves they are large in their numbers who are here who are ready to defend these people well Tinubu has already promised you people that he will commission 50 million police officers in two years. In other words, he will arrange more touts that will be collecting bribes from everything. Time to sell Nigeria. Mr. Jubri, your response to the question on how Bullion Van came about as further jeopardized his chances. I wonder how you will convince millions of Nigerians to vote for him. Just like the way they were talking about Atiku. Hey, Atiku, this, Atiku, that. Uh -huh. It is your time now. Let's see how it goes.